بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سرحد ناز فرام گورنمنٹ کالج فار وومین کورنگی نمبر سکس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین یو اباؤٹ نیوٹریشن وچ از چیپٹر ٹویلو فرام فرسٹ ایئر ٹیکس بک اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ہیو پریپیئر دس چیپٹر ان تھری پارٹس انکلوڈنگ اونلی باٹنی پورشن ان دس پارٹ ون آئی ول ڈسکس ود یو واٹ از نیوٹریشن then its type of nutrition and first type of nutrition I am going to discuss with you that is autotropic nutrition and its further subdivision that is phototropic nutrition and chemotropic nutrition. Before going into the details of nutrition, I would like to first introduce what nutrition actually is. Nutrition is the process by which living organism obtain energy to perform various functions of life and to maintain their structure. Students, we all know that earth consists of many living organisms which are different from each other. Have we ever wondered What is the intake? Where do they get nutrition from? In this chapter, we are going to discuss about the division of plants according to mode of nutrition. There are two types of nutrition, autotropic nutrition and heterotropic nutrition. Let's discuss the first type of nutrition which is autotropic nutrition. The word autotropic is derived from two Greek words auto and trop. Auto means self and trop means feeding. Now let's discuss the definition of autotropic which is defined as the nutrition in which living organisms prepare their own food from simple inorganic substance by the use of light energy or chemical energy. Student, now you can see in this diagram that inorganic substance carbon dioxide and car water are combined in presence of light energy and chemical energy to produce carbohydrate which is organic substance and oxygen. Student, there are two types of autotropic nutrition that is phototropic nutrition and chemotropic nutrition. Dear students, first I am going to explain you first type of autotropic nutrition that is phototropic nutrition. The word phototrop is also derived from two Greek words photo and trop. Photo means light and trop means feeding. Now let's see the definition of this phototropic nutrition. It is actually the nutrition in which living organism can manufacture their food in presence of light and this phototropic nutrition can be observed in plants and bacteria. Now let's see in plants what happened the inorganic substance that are carbon dioxide and water that is six molecules of carbon dioxide and 12 molecules of water they combine in presence of light and chlorophyll to produce organic substance that is carbohydrates plus what six molecules of water and six molecules of oxygen now in case of plant the pigments which are used are chlorophyll a and b they are certain special type of bacteria which contain chlorophyll and are capable of performing phototropic nutrition such type of bacteria are known as photosynthetic bacteria this type of bacteria are capable of growing in light and sulfur spring there are certain examples of this photosynthetic bacteria like purple sulfur bacteria which contain bacterial chlorophyll and keratinoids student you can see that the pigments in case of plants were chlorophyll a and b which are absent over here and in the same way in green sulfur bacteria it contain chlorobium chlorophyll instead of chlorophyll a and b in both cases carbon dioxide combined with hydrogen sulfide in presence of light and pigment to produce carbohydrate water and 
sulfur is liberated instead of oxygen in this case now there are certain few more examples like non sulfur purple and brown bacteria which are found in mud and stagnant water they use organic hydrogen instead of hydrogen sulfide so in the purple in case of purple sulfur bacteria and green sulfur bacteria we saw that carbon dioxide combined with hydrogen sulfide but in case of non sulfur purple and brown bacteria the carbon dioxide combined with only organic hydrogen student i hope your concept about phototropic nutrition is clear now uh, i am going to explain you second type of autotropic nutrition that is chemotropic nutrition the word chemotropic is derived from two greek word chemo and trop chemo means chemical and trop means feeding in this type of nutrition oxidation of inorganic substances such as ammonia nitrate nitrite ferrous iron hydrogen sulfide and some metallic and non metallic materials are involved to produce energy student you can see that in this type of nutrition oxidation of chemicals are actually involved to produce energy and these chemotropes are also known as chemolito autotrophs now there are few examples of this the there are certain bacteria like nitrosomas which oxidize ammonium into nitrite to get energy and there are certain other bacteria like nitrobacter which oxidize this nitrite into nitrate to get energy thank you students for watching and listening my lecture i hope your concept about autotropic nutrition is clear